Hello and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems from the topic time and distance, which is a very frequent topic asked in bank exams, MBA exams and government body exams. What we would be doing here is we would be touching up five different kind of problems from this chapter. And by the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position while dealing with the problems from the topic time and distance. There are few concepts around which the problems of time and distance revolve. We have tried to cover all those concepts in this these five questions. So let's begin the first question. A bullet train covers a certain distance at the speed of 300 km per hour in six hours. Now we can simply go on and calculate the distance here just because the speed is given and the time is given. So 300 into six is equal to 1800 kilometers. Now to cover up same distance that is 1800 kilometers in five hours, it must travel at how much speed? So we need to calculate speed here. Time is given five hours distance. We have calculated 1800 kilometers. The speed would be 1800 divided by five. That is 360 kilometers per hour. Second question. A man completes a journey in 10 hours. He travels the first half of his journey at 100 km per hour and second half at the rate of 50 km per hour. Now find the total journey in kilometers. So what we will do here is we will assume the total journey to be of x kilometers. So the first half would be of 1 by 2x and the second half would be of another 1 by 2x. First half time would be 1 by 2x divided by 100 which is the speed in which the first half is traveled and the second half would be 1 by 2x divided by 50. 50 is the speed at which the second half is traveled. The total time is 10 hours. So we can simply calculate for x that is 666 kilometers. Third question. Walking at 1 by 4th of his usual speed, a man is late by 3 hours. Now what would be his usual time if he walks as, as, at his usual speed? So we would assume the usual speed to be s, usual time to be t and distance to be t. Now the new speed is 1 by 4th of usual speed that is s by 4. And there is a concept that speed is inversely proportional to time. When speed is high, time required would be less. When time is high, speed needs to be very low. So we would get the time as 40. So 40 minus t would be 3t that is equal to the man is late by 3 hours that is 3 so we get the usual time to be of 1 hour. Now fourth question. Two cyclists starting from same place cycle at the rate of 5 km per hour and 10 km per hour respectively. What time will they take to be 105 km per hour if they move towards each other in same direction? Now the relative speed of cyclists would be 10 km per hour and minus 5 km per hour. We need to remember the concept in relative speed that when two bodies are moving towards same direction, the speed is subtracted, the smaller speed is subtracted into the bigger speed and when the two bodies are traveling towards each, each other, the speeds are added. So here they are moving towards the same direction, so 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 km per hour. Now the distance between them would be 105 km per hour. So time required to cover 105 km per hour would be 105 divided by 5 that is 21 hours. Now the fifth question. In covering distance, the speed of Anand and Birju is in ratio of 2 is to 3. Anand takes 45 minutes more than Birju to reach the destination. The time taken by A, A is known to as Anand, to reach the distance is, now the ratio of speed is given, that is 2 is to 3. The speed, the ratio of the speed between Anand and Birju. Now, as we know, as we discussed in last to last question that the ratio of the speed can be inverted to find out the ratio of time just because speed is inversely proportional to time. So here the ratio of time would be 3 is to 2. Now let the Anand take 3 x hours and Virju take 2 x hours. So Anand take 45 minutes more than Virju. This is said in question. So 3 x minus 2 x is equal to 45 by 60. x would be 3 by 4. 45 by 60. Now, time taken by Anand to reach the destination would be 3x as we have assumed. So, uh, 
we will place the value of x is equal to 3 by 4 in 3x and we get the answer as 9 by 4. So 9 by 4 would be the time taken by Anand to reach the destination. Now I hope these questions and the concepts discussed in these questions would help you gain a lot of confidence when dealing with the problems on time and distance. Thank you very much.